Alrighty, well here we have a reference video on how to install a manual brake push rod conversion from uh, Dr. Differential. First off, you skip every single step in a video that you're making about how to do this and don't show how to remove the brake booster and all the other stuff that's in your way. Second, you make sure that you just bend the crap out of your brake lines in a good sophisticated manner that it doesn't hurt them in any shape or form other than to get your master cylinder so it can bolt right to the firewall. Then you come to this brake pedal and just look at it for a while. Third and most importantly, make sure that you get the camera as close as possible to the manual brake adjustable push rod so you can tell more in this video about how it works. They give you a bolt and two washers and a nut with this kit. The washer does not go on this side. The washer goes on the other side of this portion of the push rod. If the washer goes on this side, it gets in a bind and the brake pedal does not move. Make sure you still use your other washer on the other side with the nut. You'll loosely want to have the master cylinder partially in as you're finagling this push rod in place. Once everything is in, make sure you tighten down your master cylinder and this of course too. Use an 11 16 wrench, wrench to adjust your push rod. Make sure you slur every word in this video. A 5 8 wrench is required to tighten down the lock nut and also the bolt. Remember to show enthusiasm and non-monotone voice while making a video. Refrain from saying anyways 20,000 times. Once your master cylinder is all bolted in, go test the brake pedal and see if it works. Place your foot right here. Depress the pedal. If desired for a different pedal height, you can adjust the push rod. Be sure to take a sick video of your father's G20. And that's a wrap.